It's hard to go for very long without it. Few of us manage a day. Some of us feel compelled to go back every 15 minutes or so. We're addicted to the news. It's everywhere, and slowly, imperceptibly, it's robbing us of our power to think, to be calm, to be original. The news doesn't come with instructions. It's meant to be the most normal, easy, obvious thing in the world. We're not taught to treat it like the toxin it is. Commentators agonize about what goes on in our classrooms, but we sidestep the far greater question of what happens on the airwaves and the screens, where the more potent, ongoing kind of education really takes place. Once we're done with school, the news is the teacher. It's what tells you how the world is and what's possible. It's what creates our sense of political and social reality. The news pretends to want to show us what's really remarkable out there. A freak snowfall in the tropics. A scandal in politics. Co-joined twins. But it doesn't tell us what's really odd. Half of humanity daily spellbound by some news masquerading as the news. That's a headline you'll never see from organizations otherwise devoted to the corrupt and the shocking. Why do we keep checking this news? As an escape from the doubts and anxieties of facing up to our own lives. To consult the news is to raise a seashell to our ears and to be gloriously overpowered by the roar of humanity. What does all this news do to us over time? What remains of the years we spent with it in aggregate? Where did those many excitements and fears go? About the missing child, the budget shortfall, the unfaithful general? We don't ask such questions. It's hard to give up on the habits first established in our earliest years, as we sat cross-legged during school assembly, listening politely to figures of authority while they told us things they proclaimed were very important indeed. This is a book about how to navigate the world of news a little more effectively. It asks why we know so much and feel we can do so little. Why we still can't really understand the economic system we live in. Why we're constantly made to feel so angry and so afraid. Why envy is so rife. Why the famous obsess and appall us. Why disasters, especially involving planes and plagues, are so good at distracting us. Why we've got more and more information and less and less wisdom. This is an urgent manual about how to win back a little sanity in a news-crazed age.